guys, Uncle Jesse here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can 3D print your own Guardians of the Galaxy replica mixtape. This is a super quick and easy build that you can knock out in one day. Let's get it started. So here is the finished mixtape. As you guys can see, it is really quick and easy to assemble. This only takes a few hours to print. I printed this at, I believe, 10% infill using Ziltec Black PLA, and then the white inside pieces were using the white PLA from Ziltec. And again, what is really great about this is that Forge3D, the creator of this, has made it so that it can be scaled up so that you can print it even larger. Now, how cool is that? So this version right here is printed at 200% the size of the original, and I think this is gonna be an awesome display piece. One of the really cool things about this as well is that the creator of this, Forge3D, has also included the ability for you to hang this very easily. So if you wanna put this on display, hang it up on a shelf or hang it up on a wall, you can print it large and then have it just as a nice display piece. It's something that people will easily instantly recognize as the awesome volume one mixtape from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Obviously this is a little larger than what you'd normally have if it was a real life cassette tape, but that's why you have the 100% size version of this. The details on this are also really, really nice and really clean to print. There were minimal supports that were needed. The post-processing work was next to none. I removed the supports, snapped in the inside pieces, and as you saw there, I just took a regular piece of printing paper, printed this out, which he also includes the file for you to, which he also includes the file for you to either use the version that he's created here, or if you wanted a blank template that you can write your own message on there, you've also got that option. What you need to do as well is for the piece of paper, if you let's say scaled this one up here, this file up by 200%, I'd have to scale this piece of paper, the printing uh, image up by 200%. I just did that over on my computer using the print settings and then said scale by 200% and it printed it perfectly. And then I just used an X-Acto knife to cut it off. And as you guys saw, I also used some and I also used some super glue, which I kind of diluted with a piece of paper uh, underneath this. I could have used a glue stick, but I didn't have one. Surprisingly, I've got kids running around. I couldn't find a glue stick anywhere in my house. But if I didn't dilute that a little bit, I was nervous that I was gonna get water or liquid residue uh, within the paper as it mixed. So you guys know I love printing big things, especially over on the CR-10 and the CR-10S4. And I'm wondering, why don't I print this a little bit bigger? And here is the 15 inch version of the cassette tape. This turned out ridiculously good. Very happy with this. So I went and got the label printed at Kinko's. I basically just scaled up the file here to 380% of the original. And then I ended up actually cutting off a portion of the back of the cassette tape. I figured since I'm gonna be hanging this or putting it up on a display shelf, there's no real need to print all that extra filament. So I cut, basically almost cut it in half and gave you the version that you see here. And then just took this file and then sent it to Kinko's at 380%, which fit on an 11 by 17 piece of paper. And it turned out great. I mean, it just it worked just like the others here. So here is the original size, the baby. Here is the mama and here is the dada. <laughs> I don't know why I call it that. But here is just a quick size comparison. And again, all of these were printed on variations of the CR-10. So this was printed on the CR-10, the CR-10, and then the CR-10 S4 since it has the bigger 
the bigger build area. I probably could have gotten away with printing this vertically over on the CR-10 since the actual build volume vertically is the same as what you have on the CR-10 S4 squared or cubed. So all in all, this was a great, great project. I just want to say a big thank you to Forge3D for creating and sharing these files with everybody. They're over on my mini factory that you can download right now. And as I said, the project is a really quick and simple build. If you're going for the life size, you know, one to one version, it only takes a few hours to print. This 200% version, I think, was maybe 10 hours or less. And then the ginormous one that I've printed, that was, I believe, about 20 hours worth of printing. And again, I ended up cutting the size of that a little bit just because I didn't need to print the whole thing and it was going to be up on the wall on display. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you like this and thought it was a fun one. I certainly thought this was a great project to print and I'm going to love having it on display. I mean, again, it's something that people instantly recognize as well. So, hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye now. I'm hooked on the feeling. Wait a minute, did I already sing that in another video? Ooh, gotcha, Pretty gotcha, sure. Gotcha, I, gotcha, gotcha, I gotcha, just got this feeling. I wonder if I can do like a little effect where the video shows up over here and plays that in the background. I don't know. I don't know. My technical skills are limited, folks. Very limited. Really fun project, though.